Hey everybody, it's Titan here once again and back in R Factor 2 to sort of do a continuation of the video where I drove modern F1 cars around the old 1966 Spa layout. Well today I'm pretty much doing the same thing but with the 2013 V8 F1 car but at the old Monaco with death and danger around every corner. So it won't be 6 plus miles flat out but it would be interesting to see what would happen in an alternate universe where the cars evolved as they did in our timeline, but without Jackie Stewart's crusade for safety. So let's take the 2013 Lotus of the Iceman down to Monaco and see if I end up in the harbour. So then, Kimi Raikkonen's Lotus. Turn the mirrors on for a bit of immersion. There we go. And away we go. Through Sandevo. Oh god, the front end's lifting up. You can feel it in the force feedback. You have to lift out through there on a timed run. Front end just sliding through Casino Square as well, even though there is rubber on the track. Station hairpin. As there was once a railway station there, Portier, West Senna, crashed and then went off to have a sulk. Lift through the tunnel because the back end will step out. And now, <laughs> the left right flick that is the old chicane. That was hell in Grand Prix Legends. It's worse than this. I can't keep any heat in the tyres. take the long way around. We need a special steering rack for this race, even more so than what they use normally. Luckily, smaller cars in 2013, so probably a little bit easier to get through these streets than the modern cars. Six years ago these things last raced. Mirabo once again. Don't get turned in. I'll have to clutch kick it through there, I think. Portier again. Beautiful view. It's a lovely day to potentially get myself killed. It's a good day to die hard. Could you imagine? Lewis Hamilton clipping the inside of that chicane and ending up in the harbour. 50% of F1 fans would cheer, I'm guessing. Uh, you absolute animals. And the other 50% will go, well, if he didn't have that ugly halo, he might not have drowned. Christ on a bendy bus. See what the time is like. Uh, it's like 10 o'clock or something, but you know what I mean. Oh dear, too deep. Too busy pressing buttons. Trying to get the front end to slide a bit just to generate some heat in the tyres. Oh. New suspension, please. Come on. One eleven, isn't that what the modern cars are doing on the track anyway? That track's longer than this. Mm. 
big lockup. Apologies if I'm a bit sniffly as well, it's allergy season. Oh, it's okay, I know what I'm doing, I've got it all under control. Yep. That is a huge flat spot I've got. I think I've picked one up on the right tyre as well. Let's try that run through that chicane again. Famous last words. So you need at least four laps to get the tyres up. And the car's finally coming to me now. I'm locked up again. Come on, get turned in. Oh dear, it's not taking my front wing off, has it? I've got suspension damage. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so I'm taking all the fuel out. And we'll see how fast this thing will go. With my bravery pants on. No clutch kicking. Resist the urge to clutch kick. You cannot drift a Formula One car. Tell that to Nelson Piquet. It was Piquet, wasn't it? Was it Patrese or Mansell? Hungara ring on full opposite lock. One minute tend to beat. Apex of that corner is so hard to find. The uh, the Corvette safety car destroys the immersion a little bit, but then again, I am driving as the Iceman in 1966. One minute six. I can go faster than that. No, I can't. Shit. All right. So I am currently doing, you know, full Lorenzo Bandini being cooked to death at Monaco. Uh, this has been... That is a lovely view. I don't care if I'm on fire. Can we... Uh, let's get that pointing at the tail. There we go. Cool. Right, so this has been Kimi Raikkonen's Lotus around the streets of Monaco 1966. I can see the fire in my wing mirrors. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more clowning around in virtual motorsport or any of my videos to do with the real world of motorsport, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. 
Thanks as always go out to my patrons on Patreon and if you enjoy my content and want to help uh, contribute in a more personal fashion you can do so by following any of the links in the description box and uh, all my other social media stuff and ways to get in contact with me is in there as well. So all that's left to say is that I've been Aidan Mild. Have a great day wherever you live in the world and goodbye. <laughs>